going on guys logs here and today i'm showing you guys the best settings and little tips for sniping in modern warfare 2. now i'm not the best sniper i'll admit but these tips help me get my shot on and help me hit a lot more clips and uh, just hitting more shots in general so these are the best sniping tips i've found with the game just now releasing some of these are subject to change but for right now these are the best sniping settings i've found so first things first if you play on controller you definitely want to go over to your controller and and when you get to advanced settings, you want to go to aim assist type. You want to change that from default to black ops. As you can see, black ops has a traditional aim slowdown near the target used in black ops games. Now, if you play black ops cold war, you probably ran precision because it gave you a little bit more of that uh, slowdown, a little bit more of that sticky aim assist when sniping. But for some reason in precision is not the same as in the black ops game. You actually want to put it as black ops and it gives you a lot better slowdown and it gives a lot more sticky when people run across the screen. So when you're drag scoping, it's a lot more consistent. I'd suggest just messing around with these, but I found that Black Ops is definitely my favorite and that's the one that I'll be rocking. Next up is your custom sensitivity transition timing. So this is the time it takes for you to transition from your you know hip fire into ADS. So you want to put it on instant. You don't really want it gradual because even if you are you know black scoping or something, you want it instant because the transition from your hip fire to your ADS sense needs to be extremely fast and then custom sensitivity you definitely want to change these I put my high zoom in my eight to seven times or eight to nine times I should say these are my sniping senses you definitely want to crank those up for high zoom I definitely want it higher than your normal default one because like with these sniper rifles when you ADS you know how slow it is like aim down sight but when you pull out like the SPR or the fast ones you want it to be fast like that so I would definitely change those sensitivities to match your uh, speed type and your uh, aim a little bit I'm not gonna get too in-depth in dead zones because everyone's controller is different and you might have a more stick drift than I do but these are my settings the one thing you can change for everyone is the trigger uh, dead zone so you want to make it as low as possible I put it 0.03 so that way when you click down the right trigger uh, it will automatically shoot as soon as you press it. So moving on from controller, we're gonna go down to interface. I'm gonna show you guys a secret setting that literally makes you snipe a lot better. So you wanna go down all the way to the very bottom and there's a thing called center dot. So what this is, is it literally adds a center dot to the middle of the screen and with it off, you already have it as you can see in the middle. But as you can see, it disappears as soon as you ADS. So that goes for, you know, all the snipers in the game and even the uh, iron sight, it will disappear immediately. As soon as you start the ADS, it disappears. If you end up turning this on, you can set it to default, larger or largest. So I'm just gonna keep it on default and you can see that it literally stays in the center of your screen when you ADS. So if you're coming around the corner and you wanna ADS, you wanna hit that center, it literally centers the shot for you. So it's literally perfect. And that goes for uh, marksman and it goes for iron sight sniping, which we have more settings later. This is literally the best way to center your shots is just putting that dot in the middle of your screen and it's awesome for uh, no scopes as well. You see guys like Obey Zelta absolutely going off and he has this setting turned on because he can literally hit his shots without even having to uh, really, you know, ADS all the way. He can literally black scope people because he knows exactly where the bullet is going to go. So what Zelta also does is he pairs that with also, if you go over to settings and interface right above it, if you scroll up a little bit, you can actually turn off crosshairs. And I find that turning off crosshairs helps a lot because you don't have those crosshairs in the way. You can literally just use the dot to center everything and you just run around the map centering everything with like turning corners and quick scope and all that. It literally helps out so much and it, I just think it helps out a lot. So I would suggest turning crosshairs off and using this center dot and you will just keep hitting your shots better because you'll be able to center a lot better. All right, for this next setting, you wanna go into the graphic settings and you go all the way over to the right and it's view and then you go down and it's weapon field of view. So right now I have it on wide. So the difference is narrow makes your weapon look bigger Default makes your weapon look, you know, normal and then wide makes the weapon look smaller. So I'll show you comparison between narrow and wide. And as you can see, it looks really big on my screen and I'm playing on 120 FOV right now and my sniper looks huge. If I go over and I change it to wide, 
you can see it looks a little pushed out it looks like more like 120 fov you know so i'll just show you again this is wide so this is with the gun pushed out go over graphics change it to narrow boom and look how zoomed in it looks i don't think this looks good at all it does show a little bit more to the right of the screen for this gun but for this gun it really doesn't and you don't have to change this you can always keep it on default and default is like a good medium but for me i like having that good 120 fov look so i'm gonna put it at wide so i can have a little bit more screen time a little bit more uh movement a little bit more like that i personally think it lo looks a lot better with wide because the weapon looks smaller but you guys can uh, mess with it yourself and see if you like it our next setting is specifically good for iron sight sniping so there's a lot of really good marksman rifles that have iron sights and this is specifically good for iron sight sniping so what you want to do is go over to graphics you want to go to ads field of view and do independent so independent makes it zoom in so much more it's basically like you're playing adfov zoomed in but when you unzoom you can go back to 120 or whatever field of view you play on but for iron sight sniping this is literally really really good because you can just zoom in and for those of you who do play on 120 like myself it makes it a lot easier to see people across the map so yeah guys that's basically it that's my sniping settings and tips for modern warfare 2 now i'm sure there's a lot more sniping settings i can go into like controller and stuff like that more settings on that but for right now i'm just gonna leave you with that video if you guys want to know how i get these camos and stuff in private match i can make a tutorial on how to do that so you guys can take screenshots and do it for yourself because this really is the best way to get screenshots for like thumbnails or uh, just showing off to friends and stuff is being able to do this glitch there's also a glitch on how to basically fly by uh, doing this glitch where you lay down on cars. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on that, I can do that as well. Just leave a like and comment down below if you want that. I'm really sick. If you can't tell, my nose is extremely stuffed up, so I don't sound as good as normal. So uh, leave a like for my pain. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. I'm Logs, and I'm out. Deuces.